Here we have Odin, right? This guy is about Wano. That's true. I wonder what they're going to come out with these cards. It's whatever family. Kazuki family. Here you go. But for the most part, it's a Wano leader. Super dedicated to his type. So you can't really play the deck for the most part without using Wano cards. Green Wano cards technically need more support. Hey, I'm sure we'll see that in the future. Um, but for his leader ability, you're discarding a card from your hand. More specifically, you're discarding a Wano card. Right, losing cards, losing res this game is about resources. Losing resources is very damaging. So when you're discarding a card from your hand in order to gain an effect, it has to be worth it. It has to be very impactful. Now, granted, to be fair, this leader came out during a different time in the meta, but even then, it wasn't really seeing much play. It's just difficult to try to what do you call it? Justify discarding one card to simply get back two active dawn you're not really going to go for something like that two active dawn doesn't really change the game like that now i mean when dendro is on the field and you do something you can get four back but that's this is a little different but ultimately you're probably not going to use his leader ability that often you're probably looking at twice in the game but or once even and like I said several times, if you can't really use your leader ability, you're playing with a vanilla. And sure, he's a five life vanilla, but do you really want to play with a five life vanilla? It might not be worth it. It might not be worth it. How well does his leader ability complement his deck or his cards? Not well enough. Sure, there are Don X, and I'm, and I'm guessing that's what um, Bandai was thinking about. It was like, oh, wait, uh, Let's uh, make a leader that can give you your dawn so you can attach to your character so you can swing and gain effects. Remember, this is from a different time. This is from a different time. But it's only two dawn. If the leader got you back three dawn, then we're talking about something, okay? We're talking. But it's, it's only two dawn. You can say maybe they wanted you to be able to have a defensive event on the ready. Well, let's fast forward to Power Creep and look at Dolph Flamingo, green, purple. No, no, you have to <laughs> green, purple, but um, that's there and it's not even like game changing like that. So even to have two Dawn up for defensive events doesn't mean the game is going to be swayed in your favor by so much. It just is what it is, right? The most special combo you have available with this leader is to use the eight drop Odin, swing, restand, and then use your leader, leader ability to get two out of the three of those dons active, attach that don, and swing for even more. A very strong game ending play. But once again, when you're only using your leader ability like once in a game, ultimately you're playing with a vanilla. The leader ability is not impactful enough. The leader ability eats too much of a crucial resource, i.e. your hand. The leader of Putis is not giving you enough back to be impactful. So you can't use it frequently and it's not impactful enough. It just is what it is. And due to the current meta, you might not get so many one attacking effects kicking in. So that's another thing here. So at the moment, this leader is just simply not worth playing. It is what it is.